Today's video, we'll be learning three animated effects Vox uses. The hand drawn animation, the text highlighter, and the operator effect. Stick around to the end of the video to receive 10% off my entire store. So this is just an image. As you guys can see, nothing's happening when we play it. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to create dynamic links. You just right click, and then we're gonna hit replace with After Effects composition. It's gonna keep the same attributes that we had to it. So I had a scale on it just to you know make it fit the whole entire frame. All we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna click new and create a solid. And we're gonna have the solid be the color of the highlight that we want. So I'm just gonna choose like that yellow and just hit okay. For right now, we're just gonna go ahead and hide the solid. And then we're gonna go up here and click our pen tool. And we're gonna click the portion that we need to highlight. When you're doing this effect, you kind of want to do it in somewhere where it's legible. I'm doing it right here. The way you use this pen tool is just tap end to end where you want it to happen. And you could just do a straight line or you could do jagged lines if you want the highlight to be kind of rough. We're just gonna hit our effects and presets over here and we're gonna search for stroke and it should be under the generate and we're just gonna drag stroke and drop it there. So now we're gonna make sure we click reveal original image. We're gonna just click all masks and then now we can show this and then you can't see anything happening but we just need to increase the brush size like so. Go down to our modes and hit toggle and click multiply and then it gives it that nice texture and a nice feel while yes it does show the text a lot more it doesn't look as good as you want it on some textures this usually works fine on like a white background but let's say you have this dark brown background we're gonna go ahead and hit overlay instead this looks a little bit too bright but the way we're gonna fix that is we're gonna go to the transform and turn down the opacity something that I like doing to make it a little, a little bit more real is I turn down the brush hardness just a tad bit and then I'm gonna also increase the brush size just a little bit while that does look good what I like to do is make it glow so I also go over to my effects and preset and add a glow effect so I think that is good for me and if you want to see it without that's the difference but as you can see if we look there's no animation to this and we're gonna go ahead and animate that right now so we want to go to our stroke section up here and we're gonna go to the start of our frame and you're gonna go right down here where it says end and you're gonna turn on keyframes and you're gonna put this end to zero and it's gonna create a keyframe and you're gonna do the keyframe to however long you want. So let's say I want it there and we're gonna reset this back to 100. Now, if we watch it over, and then after that, we're just going to easy ease this last keyframe by pressing F9. What I like to do is going to my graph editor up here and adjusting it. And if you don't know how to swap your um, graph editors, just go down here and just make sure you're on your speed graph. And we go back to our Premiere Pro and we're gonna hit X on our keyboard just to select the in and out points of the section we want and hit enter. Always render out your files, especially if you have a slower computer. Now here's a little secret that looks really boring. So we need to spice it up a little bit. So in the same After Effects file, we're going to add a camera filter to this. So we're gonna click new and press camera. And then we're just gonna say main cam and we wanna throw on a 50 mil and just hit okay. And then we're gonna to toggle back our modes. In order for it to work, we need these to be 3D. So we're just gonna hit 3D and now it's connected. And then if you press one, two, and three, you rotate between the different modes. So one is your swivel, two is your left, right, up, down motion, and then three is your zoom in, zoom out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create some camera motion and again, just render it out. The next thing we need to do is do the hand drawn effect. I pre rearranged my files here. I'm just gonna highlight these two. And again, this back one is just the background and this top one is just the picture. I'm gonna highlight these two and then I'm gonna right click and again, click replace with After Effects composition. All we need to do is press G on our keyboard or you can go right up here to the pen tool and we're gonna draw the, the hand drawn animation that we want. If you don't have this uh, no fill color, all you need to do is press Alt and click on it. And it cycles through the different modes that it has. And then let me just go ahead and draw the, the path that I want. Once you have the circle that you want, you can go ahead and adjust it the way you, you'd like. So you can make the stroke width bigger, smaller, whatever you like. The ends here are squared off. If you don't want it squared off, a real quick tip is you can just go into stroke and just hit round cap and it gives you that rounded edge. So we're gonna keep it at 15 for the width. And then now all you can see is just the drawn effect that we want. But if you want to animate it, what we need to do is go up here to our contents and just hit add and add trim paths. And then go to the beginning of your clip. And then where it says end, we're going to change that to zero. And then we're going to again click about 10 frames, 15 frames over. And we're going to change that back to 100%. Now, if you watch it over, 
it has the drawn effect. And again, editing the graph will make this look a lot more smoother. So we always want to try to edit our graph. Like me personally, it looks better. We're going to click on our last frame and we're just going to hit F9 yet again. And that easy eases that last keyframe. So let me go ahead and add some motion to it. And then I'll show you guys the final effect. All right. So lastly, what we need to do is create the typewriter effect. So again, back into Premiere Pro. And if you look, I have a blank canvas right here and it's white. The way you create that is you right click, click new item, and you just click color mat and select the white when the color picker comes up. And this is how I can convert that into a dynamic link. So we're going to right click this and just hit replace with After Effects composition. Now, if we come up here and just select our text and we're going to make sure it's black text, Arial, that's fine. And we're going to say this is Adrian. So once you have your text inputted, we need to center it. And if you look, you can't really center it. And there's a quick way that you could do this. But what I usually do is I come down to transform and then on this position clock, you hit alt and you click it to get this section. And it gives you this code and just type in value comma and it's 960 comma 540. So if you want to get this centered, so the anchor point isn't centered, um, just make sure you highlight it on your text layer and you hit control and double click this one and it centers it for you. So this is completely centered. And if you try to move this, it won't move. So if you press this, you won't be able to move it. So now we need to add the animation because if we play this, nothing happens. We're going to go up to effects and we're going to just click typewriter. And as you can see, it's in every single After Effects. We just need to open our animator and it does the typing for you, but it, as you can see, you won't be able to see the end of it, which is totally fine. So what I usually do is in this keyframe, I just delete everything and then I do my own. So I started at zero and at the end of my timeline, I put it back at 100. So as I promised, here's a code to receive 10% off on my preset pack store. Also, before you guys go, I do want to show you guys an example of the next preset pack that I'll be releasing. And the reason why every order before the 30th of February will receive at least one copy of something in the newest preset pack. So if you haven't ordered anything from the store, go ahead, use the code and order something for yourselves. Here are the examples. If you want to see how I added animated captions like you see in this video, go ahead and watch this next video.